So now I'm here with another one of our international artists, Michaela, all the way here from Newfoundland, Canada. And you've got a show this year called Dying Heart. Yes. Tell us a little bit about it. I'm doing uh, Dying Heart. It's a verbatim theater piece, which means I take interviews that an anthropologist took with uh, Newfoundland miners. I edit them down and I perform true stories from real people in their own words, verbatim. So uh, this one's got six characters, four men, two women. It's just me, a coat rack, chair, and you guys. Very nice. And you're in the patron's room. Yes, I am. So it's, it's a more intimate venue, right? It is more intimate. Have you, you've done some shows in there already? Yeah, I've done two shows already. My Great. audience has been really loving, really fabulous. Uh, yeah, it's very intimate, very informal. Cool. So, uh, cool. Come up, say hi to me anytime you see me around. <laughs> very good, very good. And you have these crazy buttons. I do have these crazy buttons. This is another thing I do is big pal buttons. Uh, these are all vintage comic book buttons. Let's see. They're all taken from comic books. So if you see me around, I most likely have these with me as well. Great. And they're on sale for $2 a button or 3 for 5 So in Orlando Fringe, we have a tradition of okay. asking performers and other Fringe notables if they have someone at Fringe that you don't necessarily have to act, but do you have a Fringe crush? I do have a Fringe crush. Paul Strickland. Yeah, from any title than works. I very met him nice. uh, the other day. We're in the same venue. He's such a cute. So. Very good. Very good. There you go. That's what we want to know. <laughs> Thanks, uh, Michaela. Very nice meeting you.